Lucas Media, as you can see in the image, shout out to my mixtapes. Man says you can make a you can make good money with a regular nine to five, not only through selling drugs. And as you can see, the young brother why like he's doing some type of trucking service. And honestly, I mean, I I agree, I agree one thousand percent. And you know, it it makes no sense honestly to go the drug route because that's such a quick scheme and nobody really beats it, right? But they just they try to tease you to get a nine to five or a corporate job, especially like when you're younger. They oh man, man, I ain't working on nine to five, man. I ain't doing that shit. And then you look up and you know you could be making high six figures. There's people I know make seven figures, honestly, in corporate America. But those same people, man, who was on the block back in 03, 04, you know, they still going, they going in and out of jail, living with their mama. Some of the drug dealers I knew are now on drugs. A lot of them are in the ground. Some got life, you know, some have been permanently paralyzed. It's just a, it's a, it's, there's never no good outcome. Now, working a nine to five has its own stress. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta work 40 hours a week to get two days off. You know, after five o'clock on Sunday, you know, you start feeling uh, terrible. So there is this, is downsides, but as far as just overall quality of life, it's way better. It, 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 most people should see that even growing up most of my family was in the streets but i was like it don't make no sense you know i'm looking at a jay-z or dame dash or well even at the time he canceled now but even a diddy or a russell simmons these people worked in um i mean they didn't have traditional nine to fives but they were working they were working class brothers you know but so ain't nothing wrong with that and like I said, you work a nine to five, you stack your money, and even with trucking, man, them truckers be making good money. It's people I know who do who in trucking that make over two hundred thousand dollars a year. How many drug dealers you don't make two hundred thousand dollars a year without getting caught, without somebody trying to backdoor them, without somebody snitching on them? You know, it's just it it, it don't make no sense, but that's that quality of life that they push on us. So no, nah, brother, ain't nothing wrong with having a nine to five. Like I said, you work that money. You know, there's bonuses, there's overtime, you have good, you get good health insurance, you know what I'm saying, vacation. So it's just so many things that come with having a nine to five. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.